Hey guys, <clears throat> got something in the mail here. It's a sort of an unboxing, but it's actually an envelope. And I know what it is in there. It came from the US uh, and it's just a little envelope. But let me show you what's in there. Just uh, sealed with uh, tape. Oh, it looks like somebody already opened it. And inside, it's just some piece of paper. And inside of piece of paper are very, very thin packages. So I got this from the US from some guy on eBay. And uh, what they are is they are the infamous ESP8266 or ESP01. And what they are, for those of you who hasn't seen this, they are a uh, Wi-Fi chip, a $3 piece. I got this for $15, shipping included, and they're $3 a piece basically. Um, and uh, I got one working right here. And so what I have right here is uh, an Arduino Nano. And the Arduino Nano is connected to a couple uh, potentiometer and a switch just for testing. And from out there, it is connected to two different devices. The, 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 the first device is the one that we're really interested in. is this first one right here. This is the, uh, the Wi-Fi chip. And it talks to the Arduino using serial. And then I also have another serial over here that is connected to the PC. So this one is just power, basically. This one's connected to the PC. And this is also power to power this because this, um, this one's 3 volt. And they don't recommend powering it from the Nano because there's not enough uh, power. It wants like 215 um, milliamps and I think this is only rated for like 100. So uh, that's why I have a, another external power supply. And this is just a 3.3 volt regulator right here to bring it down. But what it is, basically you talk to it using AT commands, AT RST to reset it, ATCW something to connect to the Wi-Fi access point, and then uh, you can actually go get web web pages. You can post to a website. So, for instance, I have a demo here that I'll show you. So, here's an example of what you can do with the uh, that module. This is just uh, plotting the data coming from the um, potentiometer and from the switch on the bottom below it. And so if I go over here and I uh, change the value on the potentiometer, let's go bring it up pretty high like that. And so on the left side here, I have it basically printing every second, but it only sends it every 10 seconds because uh, that's the limit of Thingiverse. So it just sent one, so in a few seconds here, it should increase on the chart here. Come on. Why doesn't that work? Oh, there, there it goes. <laughs> it's just a little slow. And uh, that's uh, pretty much it. But, you know, you basically send all these commands, you know, like you send the ATCIP start and connect to a, whatever uh, uh, website you want, what port uh, you want to connect to, and then you build a command and you tell it how long it is. That's uh, ATCIP send. Uh, the ATCIP send will tell you tell it how many characters it is the uh, uh, request that you're about to send through uh, the Wi-Fi to the website and then you send the actual characters and it says okay and when it does say okay it actually sends it and it confirms that we actually made a change so the limit is I, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty uh, amazed that you can do this with three dollars so any device that wants to put something on the internet can do so for about $3 now. Pretty amazing. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.